All right, guys, so welcome to another video. This is another install and preview for the K20 Pro in which we're going to check out a brand new ROM. You mean it? You mean it? Today we're going to have a look at the latest build of the ROM called CR Droid 6. Now this is based on Android 10. It has been a ROM which I have used in the past on various devices. The version of CR Droid that we're going to look at today is CR Droid 6 based on Android 10. They are coming up with the version 7 very very soon but I don't have any update on that. So for now we will quickly install CR Droid 6. We will see how the ROM is because this is a slightly older build. The latest build that I could find for CR Droid was was dated the 30th of August 2020 and we are in September already. Nonetheless, uh, the usual drill goes without saying but before we begin, please subscribe or join our Telegram channel. The link is mentioned in the description and you can join our Discord server as well. You can directly get in touch with me over there and it is going to be a lot of fun. So you need a K20 Pro which is more than 50% charged make sure to be safe all your data is backed up you need to have your bootloader unlocked and a custom recovery installed apart from that you will need the rom g apps the latest miui vendor file for your device and you should be good to go so as i have everything ready what we'll do here is we will quickly boot to recovery all right so as you can see over here we are already in orange fox recovery so if you are encrypted and you want to have a clean install you can go ahead and choose to format data then reboot into recovery then wipe everything excluding the vendor if you are on the latest one and you can exclude the internal storage as well now in this case we are decrypted so we don't need to format data we are on the latest miui vendor so we don't need to go ahead and reflash the vendor or wipe the vendor as well so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to wipe Dalvik cache system data. We won't be wiping internal storage or vendor because we don't need to do that. And that will save us a lot of time. Now, once that is done, let's actually go to mount the OTG drive over here. And the first thing that we will flash. Now, remember in a normal situation, if you're coming from a OSS vendor or from MIUI 11, you would have to first flash the latest vendor. But because I am on the latest vendor, I don't really need to do that. So in this case, the first thing that we'll do is we will select the CR Droid Android file and we will flash it. Now give it a couple of minutes in two to three minutes it should be flashed all right so as you can see the rom has been flashed now let's go ahead and install the pico g apps that will just install the most essential google services needed so let's go ahead and flash that as well all right now the rom has been installed g apps have been installed let's wipe cache okay let's reboot system so the first boot will take anywhere between one to one and a half minute let's go ahead and look at the boot logo and let's actually see how it looks all right so as you can see we are on the home screen but it was not easy for CR droid at least because what happened is the phone got encrypted and then it was in a boot loop so what i had to essentially do is format data and that is the reason i recommend you should always back up all the information no matter how sure or good you are when it comes to flashing roms because when you format data you lose everything from the internal storage nonetheless we have successfully booted so let's actually have a look at the rom and let's see what are the features available and is it even worth trying it as a daily driver so first things first we will go to the system as I mentioned, this is one of the older builds and it comes with the August security patch instead of a September security patch because I don't have a latest build available. This build is dated the 30th of August 2020. Now, apart from this, uh, on first impressions the rom feels pretty pretty smooth it doesn't really give me any force closures or any such errors and if you look over here just like all the other custom roms we do have a very few applications over here we have like 17 applications versus a few less in few other roms the camera over here is a very very basic one so yes with all the bells and whistles this is a very very light rom and if you look at the settings menu you do have the dark mode of course and all the other options you do have something called a cr droid settings and when you have a look at this you can 
imagine the amount of customization this rom has available so if i ever use it as my daily driver it will be really really fun to use now if we go to network and internet and we check over here we do have wi-fi calling and operator video calling so yes i guess i can give it a try as my daily driver and we do have call recording as well so all in all it does look like a highly customization enabled rom it does have all the bells and whistles when it comes to customization making it look different and all the other things so maybe i'll use it and i will review this as per my experience let me know in the comment section if you want to see a full review for cr droid and this was the quick install and preview for cr droid 6.9 based on android 10 for the k20 pro for now this is kalash signing off with smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care Goodbye. In front of us. So can we just stop?